Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial for LightroomFanatic.com. Stay tuned after this tutorial for a special coupon code to get 15% off Photomatix Pro. I don't do a lot of HDR photography, but we were up in the mountains recently and I thought it was a good opportunity to take a couple of images back to see what I could do with them. As you can see, I've got three images here in Lightroom. I use the bracketing feature of my camera to take one exposure that I set myself and then one exposure two stops below and one exposure two stops above to get the pretty traditional trinity of images that uh, most folks use for putting together HDR or tone mapped images. Lightroom itself doesn't have any HDR capability, but it does have a couple of hooks into other software that you can use. The first of which is Photoshop. So I'm going to select the three images that I have, and then if you have Photoshop installed, you can go under Photo, Edit In, and there'll be an option here to merge to HDR in Photoshop. And Photoshop does a lot of things really well, and HDR is not necessarily one of them. Uh, instead of using Photoshop, I like to use a piece of software called Photomatix Pro. I have Photomatix Pro already installed on my computer, and the bundle for Photomatix Pro also includes a plugin for Lightroom, which I also have installed. So again, having the same three images selected, I'm going to go to File, Export, and as you can see, here's the Photomatix uh, Pro plugin and preset. Now on the Export dialog, the only thing I usually change is I change the color space to Pro Photo RGB. The other settings are fine for uh, for most of what we want to do. So I've got my three images selected. I'm in the plugin. I'm going to export my three files by clicking on export. And the next dialog that comes up presents me with a couple of other options for exporting to Photomatix. Uh, the bottom half is about how I'm going to handle the output of Photomatix and whether or not I want that image to be automatically re-imported into Lightroom, which I do, so I have that option selected. The other options on the top, the only one I'm really concerned about right now is how to align my images. Normally, when you take an HDR image, if you want to combine the three images together, you'd use a tripod to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. In my case, I didn't have my tripod handy, so I actually handheld the camera to get my three exposures. Uh, and just by handholding, the alignment's going to be a little bit off. And I found that by matching features, uh, Photomatix does a little bit better job uh, in that case to, to get the three images properly aligned. So I'm going to align the images by matching features and I'm going to automatically re-import back into Lightroom and I'm all set. So I'm going to click on export. Now if Lightroom is going to export the three images to Photomatix and then Photomatix is going to put them together and align them and then show me a default rendering of, of the image. So now that Photomatix Pro is open you can see the default rendering of the three images that I sent to it from Lightroom. On the right hand side, Photomatix Pro has a bunch of presets so you can kind of see the different looks that are possible, although the tool itself is pretty powerful and using the sliders on the left, you can really fine tune the, uh, the look that you're going for on your image. For the purpose of this tutorial though, uh, I'm just going to select, there's an enhanced plugin that gives me the look that I was trying to at least achieve where I would have some good detail in the clouds and some in the mountains. So uh, I'll just send this image back to Lightroom and we can do some additional adjustments to it there. So I'm going to click on Save and Re-Import. And now back in Lightroom you can see the image that Photomatix put together compared to sort of the average exposure that I would have gotten with my camera. Uh, and I, I've got better details in the trees, better details in the clouds by combining the three exposures. So now that I'm back in Lightroom, of course, I can do any other adjustments that I want to the image to get the exact look that I was trying to achieve. So we'll bring the clarity a little bit and the vibrance, and that should do it. So I hope this tutorial helps and it shows you that you can integrate Lightroom with another piece of software like Photomatix Pro to do your HDR and tone mapping photography. As I mentioned in the beginning of the tutorial, the makers of Photomatix Pro have given us a special coupon code to get 15% off of Photomatix. So head over to their website at hdrsoft.com and when you check out use the coupon code LightroomFanatic. For more you can always check us out over at lightroomfanatic.com.